All right, at this time, we know that everybody is getting ready to go back to school. It's time for children to return. However, COVID has not left. So a lot of families are gonna be facing a major dilemma at this point. Should they put their children in school or should they allow them to be homeschooled or do some type of online program? Asar is here with me. We just want to discuss this a little bit about what the options are that's out there and what our opinions are concerning whether or not these children should be put back in school. Right now, the only options that I'm seeing is distance learning, mm -hmm. online learning, which is basically, I mean, your only option. Though I feel for those parents who feel that, you know, they're in a rock and a hard place. A lot of you out there feel that you're not smart enough to teach your child. There's nothing further from the truth. It doesn't take a lot. Mm -hmm. Most of the programs will walk you through how to approach teaching, to be an instructor. It's not hard to do. You just have to kind of go with the flow and just explain it. And they have so many videos. Now, if you got the internet, there are so many ways you could pull up people to help break it down for your child if you can. Right. It's not something that you need to be afraid of. The only option is you risk their life. So you have to ask yourself, do I see myself with this child 10 years down the road? Or, you know, I do I see myself with a job? Quite frankly, I don't know how they're standing, but they are a strong family and they are leaning on their faith right now because they want the world to know, the entire world to know what happened to their little girl and how much she was loved. To know her was to love her. The love a parent has for their child is precious, instant, eternal. And when they receive that love back, what a mighty feeling that is. You can see the love Skylar has for her mommy and daddy through her beautiful smile and her hugs attached. She was a beautiful spirit. She was friendly, she was loving, she was caring, she was funny. Um, just a really happy five-year-old. To lose a child at the tender age of five is not fair, ever. And to complications from COVID-19, how on earth do you wrap your head, your heart around that? This is a hurtful feeling that I don't want any other family to have their experience. Skyler passed away at Beaumont Royal Oak Hospital after spending two weeks on a ventilator. Skyler tested positive for the coronavirus last month. And not long after, she developed a rare form of meningitis and swelling of the brain. This virus doesn't care what age you are, what nationality you are, what political preference you have, it's serious and it will devastate you. Skylar's parents, who both work as first responders in Detroit, mom a police officer, dad a firefighter, have both faced difficult, tough, life-changing situations, but nothing, nothing could have ever prepared them for the loss of their baby girl. Our daughter died so we can let the world really know that a five-year-old can um, change the world. We just, we just want to get our message out here. She was a beautiful little girl. She lived her life. She lived her five years. You knew that, you know, she lived a great life in those five years. Skylar was healthy. She did not have any underlying medical conditions. It started with a headache. Now she's gone. I know there are people out there who still do not take this virus seriously. I don't know what it will take for you to do that. Listen to the Herbert story, and there are so many other stories, sadly. Please stay safe and stay healthy. It's not that hard of a choice. Mm -hmm. So you have to make the choice for your child. They're not of the age where you can sit at home with them and they're too young, then you gotta come up with a plan. Yeah. But if you know that they're trustworthy and they can sit at home till you get there, then yes, putting them in an online program is the best fit for them because they got people signing waivers. To come, all kids across Arizona are going to be sitting down at a computer or an iPad for learning. The state is working on plans for safely reopening our schools, and those guidelines are expected soon. But if students do go back to the classroom, should they walk in with a waiver? Our Nohelani graph is live now, and Nohe parents are being asked to sign this thing in case their child gets sick. Tell us more. Yeah, it's really interesting, Kaylee. These waivers were sent to nearly 235 school districts across the state. Here's one take. I think a lot of the parents are just clicking through and approving it without actually reading what it is. And 
when you read it, it releases the district of any and all liability if your child gets sick at school. So here's the big question. Are parents required to give up their rights to sue if their child becomes sick with COVID-19? Yes. And these waivers mean that, yeah, death is certainly going to happen. Or right, you're going to get sick. Because I'm going to tell you now, they can say, oh, it's a possibility. No, if you're in the school, you're going to get sick. Mm -hmm. Your child's going to get sick. They're going to bring it back home because before COVID came along, one person got the sniffles in the classroom and it came to your house. Right. So imagine this thing. Mm -hmm. You don't want to put your job over your health. You are the most valuable commodity that you have. Yeah. That goes back along with metaphysics and a higher mindset. Anybody that puts money and work above their body is of a low consciousness nature. Mm -hmm. Because once that body goes, you're going to lose it all anyway. Yes. So you got to put the body first, even if it's your child's body. Yes. You know, do all you can and trust that they can stay home and learn on their own. And when you get there, just reinforce what they've already learned to make sure they learn. Right. That's all you have to do. Yeah, because you got to think, you are their parent. Our children depend on us for everything. And it's our responsibility as parents to love them, to nurture them, and to teach them. Now, in times past, everybody homeschooled. Recently, within the 1900s, is when they start mandating public schools and you have to go to school and all the other stuff. But prior to that time, all of your great, great aunts and uncles and grandfathers and grandparents were homeschooled and they were perfectly fine. In fact, the children were smarter back then than they are today because you didn't have all the agendas. You didn't have to worry about them putting all this stuff on you you didn't really need. They focused on reading, writing, and arithmetic. Versus today, you got all this other stuff going on. But we're at a very crucial time. Well, the teachers union in Los Angeles, the nation's second largest district, says schools should stay closed next month when the new academic year begins. And they're not alone. Many teachers across the country are pushing back on plans to bring students back into the classroom. While the president may still be pushing for schools to reopen in the fall, I want you to hear from someone who is on the ground. Katie O'Connor is a fifth grade teacher in Colorado Springs. She returned to the classroom recently to try and prepare for socially distanced learning. I am on the mission of social distancing my classroom. My district is going back full time We'll be back in about two and a half weeks. And so I have to remove all personal items from my classroom and I have to set up my um, desks so that they're all three feet apart. So she has these type of desks. This is just what she had. They used to be in little pods. They all circle up nicely. But right now she has these and they're not three feet apart yet. So we still have to figure out how to get these to be three feet apart. You can see that it's really close. Like this is, like that's, they're really close. She has a little front table. This is gonna be her document table. And then she has still some stuff to take out, but she has this her teacher desk. And then she's allowed those two things. We're all just struggling because in what world is this an elementary school classroom? See, it's all my mask comes out. We have to be walking around wearing our masks for eight hours, these are a bunch of 10 year olds. They have to work individually, there's no group work. Honestly, we're probably not even gonna be doing anything on paper because we can't pass it around, you can't collect it, kids can't be out of their seats. I don't feel like people know the true reality of what it's going to look like. You expect a bunch of 10 year olds to sit in their chair all day, eat lunch in their chair. These kids aren't leaving the classroom at all, the whole day, they're sitting in a desk. I, as an educator, don't, I know that's not how kids learn. Kids need to move. We, most of them learn by moving. And asking these 10 year olds to sit at their desk all day, on a computer, wearing a mask, three feet apart from their peers, no group work, no one-on-ones, just, they can't stick their arms out, you can't touch. I just don't see how this is, I don't see how this is better. But at least home, they could be comfortable. There are more people dying today than are being born. 
So the people who are here, you need to preserve your life. And if it means homeschooling, then God darn it, that's what you need to do. If you're going to ask me to sign a waiver, and if my child gets sick or dies, I can't sue you, then I'm not putting my child in your school. Bottom line. Now there are alternatives out there and we have one that we want to present to you. We have a homeschool network and we have told you guys this before. We're still here. We're still operating. They have group interaction. We put the children together based on age so they can actually buddy up in our buddy system and have friends that they can communicate with. They also have webinars they can go through and it's self guided. So you're going to get your core curriculum courses. We also have foreign languages. So our children have the options of taking Swahili, Japanese, French, Spanish. They're going to get more in our program than they're going to get within a regular traditional public school institution. And they'll learn their real history, which is number one and learn metaphysical knowledge which can help them grow mentally and become a better productive adult know how to think constructively instead of having these thoughts that enslave and these thoughts that hold you back we'll teach them how to think positively on a continuous basis which is what's needed right now the schools don't teach them also in our physical education segment we have yoga for children we have meditation that we teach the children courses they can take right there online in the comfort of your own home for our seniors this year, we have some seniors coming out. So they're taking some courses that they're not gonna get in public school. For example, they're doing the economics where they're learning how to actually set up their little bank accounts, how to budget, how to do family planning, how to do things so that when they actually get out of school, they can find a job to get a trade or a skill. A lot of children in school are just taught to go to college, go to college, go to college. They go to college, they don't really know what to major in, they end up with a degree that's pretty much worthless and then they can't find a job because the economy is tanking so you want to make sure that your child is able to get skills where they can actually make some money when they get out and they're not in more debt than they would have been if they would have just went ahead and started a job so the economy we're living in today is completely different than it was 20 years ago and it's still declining i just read an article about there's going to be a retail apocalypse now it's a restaurant apocalypse so a lot of these businesses that we were accustomed to going to are no longer going to be available for you like movie theaters so people are going to have to be innovative they're going to have to be able to think outside of the box in order to change in the new coming reality and that's what the home homeschool network is set up to do like he said earlier each course is online you simply click on it it's going to monitor your child it's going to help you with the videos already pre-programmed in their lectures then they also have the computerized uh, activities for them to do the quizzes are graded it's going to give you their score so literally like each day i know when i'm working with my children one of my daughters is in the fourth grade. She's taking her little fourth grade math last year. And when she would go through, she did the activities, she watched the video lecture, and at the end of her doing her activities, it actually showed me, okay, she got six out of seven questions correct. So I know she mastered that. So the next day we move on to the next day, and it keeps building. And it's the same thing with all these different courses. We also offer herbalism, astrology, numerology. So there's some things there that you, again, are not gonna get in a public school setting, but they're too tools that can help them to learn more about who they are, why they're here, and how they can change their lives for the better in the future. Old ancient sciences that we our ancestors got, but that they took out of your curriculum because they wanted to prepare you just to be a worker bee. Well, the companies aren't here anymore. So the people who know themselves and are able to think are going to be your new leaders in the future. Not the ones who've been programmed to be the worker bees. The worker bees are going to end up on the street. All right. So if you're looking for a place to put your child, we're having an open house. Visit the website www.thegoldenrace.org. You're going to go in through our community tab, click on the icon that says homeschool. You have to fill out a quick short form. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your children and you're going to get instant access into our open house. 
If you decide that you like the program, you want to enroll, you can enroll the exact same day. And once you enroll, you get instant access into your orientation. So we can get you guys set up and get you ready to go. Wonderful program, highly recommended. Check it out today. Don't miss out. Bye, thanks for visiting.